In this video, we're going to show you how to adjust the spokes on a motorcycle. Uh, the process is going to be the same across all brands, makes, and models. Uh, you will need your service manual, though, for your specific bike. If you have an aftermarket uh, wheel, you're going to need to get those uh, torque specifications for the spoke nipples for whatever rim it is or wheel it is that you have on your bike. Now, this is not going to be uh, truing a wheel. Uh, truing is where you would actually take the wheel off the bike, remove the, uh, the tube, the inner tube, the rim band, and you would put it onto a truing stand and work to make the wheel straight. This is simply uh, tightening the spokes in, a, in the proper way to uh, keep the wheel from getting out of round uh, as, as you ride the bike between service intervals. All right, like I said in the intro, you're gonna have to have a service manual. Uh, service manual is gonna give you your torque specifications. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there and on a lot of videos, they don't do deal anything with torque specifications. As a matter of fact, I couldn't even find one that did use a torque wrench. There's a reason why we use a torque wrench when we do this versus just a spoke wrench, which is what this is in the kit. Um, spokes, when you go past a certain amount of torque, is going to cause the wheel, it's gonna pull the wheel one way or the other depending on uh, which side of the hub the spoke connects to by using the torque wrench with the torque specifications for that wheel it's going to prevent you from over tightening the spoke and taking the wheel out of out of being true so you really do need a torque wrench on this some people will come along here and they'll they'll tap it and they'll listen for the tone and they'll listen for a dull tone and if it's dull they'll just put the, the wrench on and they'll just start turning until it tings the problem is unless you unless you're a uh, a, a wheel expert or you've been doing truing wheels for a long time because wheel truing is a, is an art it's a true art uh, you're not going to know whether you've gone past that torque specification and are then twisting the, that or tightening that nipple and making your wheel come out of round so you've got to get a torque wrench guys um, the torque wrench goes this one here goes from uh, 30 to 120 inch pounds and your service manual or your uh, your wheel specifications you should get a guide or something with your wheel will tell you how much uh, torque you're supposed to set your wrench to now the other thing along with this is these torque wrenches or depends on what type of uh, spoke wrench you get you do have different uh, wrench sizes and you're going to want to get one that has quite a bit of uh, different sizes so it can accommodate whatever bike you're working on Okay, so if you uh, if you got weights, depends how somebody balanced your tire. Uh, you're going to want to mark that so that you make sure that you get the uh, weights back onto the the same spokes that they came off of. So that's I'm just going to use some it's a little thin painter's tape, and we're going to put it on each of the weights and the spokes. So I know where to put it back. I still need to get one more piece. Okay, so I got a blue one on here, I got a yellow one here. I'm just going to make a, like a squiggly black mark on this one to identify it. Uh, the weights have to go back on the same spoke they came off of um, because they might have a different weight. So you don't want to mix those up. But that way it designates which one that uh, each, each spoke each weight went on. Okay, so then we're just going to take a, a weight off of our first spoke that we're going to be working on. Now, when you, before you get started here, you're going to want to kind of like just visually identify all of your spokes, on a, at least on a Harley, uh, are in groups of four. And then there's a space and then another, another group of four. Then there's a space. So you're going to be working these in groups of four. The first trip around the wheel, you're going to start with spoke one and four of that, of that group of four and then you're gonna go on to the next group of four and do spoke one and four. If you start at the valve stem, you know where your stopping point is so that you don't double, uh, double up on your, uh, your, your spoke adjustment. Okay, I wanted to give a better, uh, better visual before we went and actually adjusted the, the spokes. Each side of the spoke adjustment nipple is uh, considered a flat. So, like if I do a quarter turn, okay, whichever way I go, that would be one flat. I'm basically taking one side and putting it to where the next side was. So that's one flat or a quarter turn. So in the service manual, Harley-Davidson says that you're going to loosen this one quarter turn 
before you begin to do your spoke adjustment on each spoke, okay? So loosening, we would turn it a quarter turn, which is one flat. So this flat would go to, this flat would go to the, this side here. So you would turn it like that. That would be your quarter turn. Then you would take your torque wrench and you put it on and you would turn it and tighten it until if it, if it torqued before it was back in the original position, you would continue to torque until the spoke was in its original position. If it does not tighten by then and torque by then, you can go up to one flat more or a quarter turn more before you have to stop in order to get uh, the torque specific specification correct. If you go, go a, a flat past the original position and it still hasn't torqued to specification, you're going to stop. You don't want to go past that. One of the reasons why is because as you're tightening, that spoke is actually going through the, the wheel and it's going to be pushing uh, on the rim band inside of the, uh, the, the rim. If it goes far enough, it can puncture the rim band and then get into your inner tube. So you don't want to do that. Um, but if you go a quarter, quarter uh, past the original position and it hasn't tightened, at that point just stop and you're going to go to the fourth spoke. The reason why you're not worried about it yet is because once you go around the entire wheel, as you tighten this, it's going to end up tightening that hub, pulling that hub, which will end up tightening a spoke on the opposite end of that rim, okay? So by the time you get all the way around the wheel and you've tightened other spokes, that's going to end up pulling this one tight again. Now, if you come up to one that did not tighten uh, in the allocated amount of, uh, of turns, then you're going to want to re you're going to want to mark that one and recheck it after you've done the entire wheel. All right, so we're going to get started. Um, here's our valve stem. So this is our first group of four. So we're going to take the the first spoke, spoke number one of each group, and we're going to get our wrench on it. We're going to loosen it one flat. Then we're going to take our torque wrench, we're going to put it on. Okay, that's the original position. And we're going to go up to one flat past it. So, right there, it hit. So there, there we go. We're good. Then we're going to go to our fourth spoke of that group. We're going to loosen it. Turn the wheel so I can get to the other side. Keep my finger on it so it's marked. Okay, we're going to take our torque wrench, we're going to put it on there, and we're going to torque, no, we're already hit. So we're, we're just about back to the original position. There's the original position, and it's torqued. Then we go to our next group of four. Now, Harley, in the, the manual, it says take a, a, a marker and put a mark line on each one of these so you have the reference of where the original starting position is. Um, it's kind of hard to get permanent marker off of here. I don't have like a wax pencil that could stick to the chrome. But, I mean, if you're, if you're diligent about it and you're paying attention, you're going to know where each flat is. On the loosening portion of this, yeah, you can go up to a quarter flat, but... Or, or one flat, but you know, it's basically just to make sure that fork is, is uh, or that, that spoke nipple is loose. They're already tightened, so I'm going to take it back to its original flat, which was right there. Now, our next group loosen. There it is, that's where it was originally, so leave it right there. And then we'll go to the fourth one. So that's what we're going to do on the whole wheel. We're going to go all the way around it like that, doing number one and number four. Okay, one of the, one of the things that um, I wanted to mention was the reason we're loosening these first is because we want to make sure that the spoke nipple actually turns, that it's free. Okay, if you were to take the torque wrench without loosening it first, okay, and you just put it on there and you've gotten water in there and it's seized or rusted, then this thing could torque immediately and it wouldn't even have a chance of turning that spoke. So by loosening the spoke first, okay, we can actually break loose any kind of sediment or grime that's inside of that spoke so that when we put the wrench on it, we know that we're getting a true torque value when it finally um, uh, torques.
Okay, so we got all the way around the wheel. So here's our first group. We did the uh, spoke one and four. Now we're going to do spoke two and spoke three, and then we're going to do that on every group around around the wheel as well. And we're going to do the exact same process. Now, there we go. That one there is really loose. So that's as far as I can go. So we're going to mark that one because it's not torqued yet and we will come back to it. We'll go down to our next set, set of four. And as you can see, when you get into a rhythm, it does go pretty quick. All right, so we've got around uh, the whole wheel again now with spokes uh, two and three. We did have uh, we did have one here that was real loose. Um, I went to one flat past the original position, and as you can see, it torques. So I don't really want to go any further past that because then you'll start uh, pulling the, 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 the wheel out of true. The other problem you have is at that point your uh, spoke can actually start going too far into the rim and push against the rim band and possibly into the tube which would cause you to have a flat. Uh, you don't want to have that happen on the road. So if you come up to this situation where it still doesn't grab at one flat past the uh, the original position you're okay as long as you don't have a good portion of them doing that I would say probably 10% um, your service manual doesn't tell you that all right uh, so it's, it's really just kind of up to you to wh where you're comfortable with knowing that uh, some of your spokes may not be all the way tight if if, if you have a, a few of them like that it's probably best to take the take the tire off take it into a, your local shop have them remove the, the the tire and get get in there and just go ahead and do a, a truing on your wheel because what they'll be able to do is they'll be able to tighten it up to, to the uh, torque value that it's supposed to be and then they'll grind that 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 spoke down so it doesn't penetrate the rim band and and go into your uh, your tube all right um, just adjusting spokes which is all we're, we showed in this video uh, you can have a, a couple of them loose and you're and you'll still be okay now like I said before some people will go along here and they'll do you know the tinging thing and that's all great the problem you have with that is what if you're tone deaf you won't know what tone a certain uh, tightness is supposed to be the tightness is going to change also depend on where the rim is pulled from one side to the other so that's why we use a torque wrench on this instead of using our ears for tone Okay, don't forget to put your weights back on in the position that they came off of. So I made my little squiggly line on yellow tape on that one. So that's what I'm going to go with. In your owner's manual for your bike, for some, this soft tail deluxe, uh, this is your maintenance schedule. It says wheel spokes if equipped. Check tightness. That's what we were doing, guys, is checking the tightness. You got a thousand mile, you got a five thousand mile, then it goes up to twenty thousand miles, then it go, jump, jumps up to thirty five thousand miles, then fifty thousand miles. Margaret's at thirty nine thousand miles on this bike. Um, we had it down at our local uh, bike shop, Swifties. And they did a truing at about 30, uh, 32,000 miles on this. And so I was actually really impressed with um, the, the spoke tightness around the whole wheel. There was only uh, one of them that we really 
that never would uh, hit the torque specification before it went one flat past the original location. So uh, yeah, our local bike shop, Swifties, did a great job on the truing. So anyway, look, refer to your service manual and your owner's manual for those uh, torque specs and for the maintenance schedule on spokes for your bike. All right, so that's the process of adjusting spokes on a Harley-Davidson Softail Deluxe. The process is gonna be the same on any bike that you get. You do need a service manual and owner's manual to tell you those torque specifications. Or if you've got custom uh, wheels, you'll need those torque specs from the manufacturer or whatever wheel you have on the bike. Uh, if you were, we just showed you the front wheel. Uh, doing the back wheel would be the exact same process, so we're not gonna go through that because it's already a, a long enough video to cover that. Uh, as always, uh, appreciate you guys uh, watching the video and supporting what we try to do for you out there as far as main, maintaining your motorcycles. And I would ask that you subscribe to my channel and also check out uh, our website at rideatwrenchit.com.